did Muhammad marry a nine-year-old girl and had sex with her? Yeah, he did. We were evangelizing at a mall in Baltimore and I ran into a Muslim. I decided to interview him and ask questions about Jesus Christ. And this happened. According to the Quran, was Jesus born of a virgin? Yeah. Did Jesus do many miracles? Of course. And is he coming back to fight the Antichrist? Sure. Muhammad was not born of a virgin. No. Who went to heaven in their body? Jesus. Did Muhammad? No. Didn't Jesus create a pigeon from spit in the dirt? Didn't he make life? Yeah. So who's the only one who can create life? It's good. Only God can create yeah, life. But... Did Muhammad marry a nine-year-old girl and had sex with her? Yeah, he did. If a male, a grown man, marries your daughter at nine years old and has sex with her, you would probably kill him. Yeah. Why would Why? you follow a guy who 800 years after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ say, I went to the cave and I heard from the angel Gabriel and now I'm going to marry a nine-year-old girl and have sex with her. I had a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. He filled me with the Holy Spirit. I see demons come out of people all the time. It's real, bro. When Jesus want to take off demon for one person, what he said? Name of who? He didn't say the name of anybody because he is Jesus. Jesus say name of God. No, he did Jesus. not. I can pull it out right now. Bible. Matthew 8, 28 doesn't say it. Matthew 5 doesn't say it. I don't see anywhere where it says that he said in the name of God. If he can show me, I believe it. There's none, bro. I promise you. I believe the Lord has a calling on your life to be a Christian pastor, to bring many people that are in deception to come to the truth. I'm serious. I got filled with power. It was not religion. It's, it's a relationship with God. He showed me so much. I was able to prove that Jesus Christ is Lord to him and say a prayer with him. Guys, so we're we're here at a what mall is this again? I'm in Dal Mills. We're at the enemy store and my brother um, Omar, right? Yeah. My name is Richard and you're Muslim, right? It, yeah. So you believe in Islam wholeheartedly? Yeah. Your family's Muslim? Yep. Have you studied other religions? Yeah, Christian. Okay. What's your ethnicity? Uh, in Nicaragua. Are oh, you Nicaraguan? Yeah. Oh man, that's my amazing. So, so you know Islam? Yeah. So according to the Quran, was Jesus born of a virgin? Yeah, sure. Okay, and then did Jesus do many miracles? Of course. Did Jesus go to heaven in his body? Yeah. According yeah. to the Quran, he went to heaven? Yeah, God. Pa past the clouds? Yeah. So a man, a prophet? Perfect, yeah. Went past the clouds. And is he coming back to fight the Antichrist? Sure. Isn't it crazy how he was born of a virgin? There was no sexual intercourse. You know, Muhammad was not born of a virgin. No. And neither was Moses, neither was Abraham. No. So Jesus was born of a virgin, right? Yeah. How was he born, though? It's a miracle. Do you think God is spirit? Of course, yeah. So God is not a human. A human has to be born from sexual intercourse. For the normal? Yeah. yeah. But Jesus wasn't. It's a miracle. Miracle? Yeah. Why was he born of a virgin? It's a miracle. I do miracles. You do miracles? Too many. But I'm still a human. Who went to heaven in their body? Jesus. Did Muhammad? No, it's Jesus. But think about this. I'm not going to come fight the Antichrist. Moses is not coming to fight the Antichrist. Why did Allah pick Jesus? Yeah, you know why? Because he protect him. Be and because you know what happened with Jesus in the curse? But you don't believe in the cross, though. We believe Jesus, they, they put Jesus in the curse. But, but he didn't die. Yeah, we believe he didn't die because... And he didn't, and he didn't, he wasn't buried and he didn't resurrect according to the Quran. Yeah. Uh, so according to the Quran, right? Think about this, the Surah, right? Didn't Jesus create a pigeon from spit in the dirt? Didn't he make life? Yeah. So who else in the in the Quran created life? In Quran, have two. Have have Jesus and the other profile I forget. But okay. Jesus made it from, from dirt. So who's the only one who can create life? It's God. Only God can create yeah. life. Uh, how about this? So Muhammad, so he went to a cave yeah. seeking Allah, yeah. looking for an answer for a long period of time, months. And he believes that he heard a voice from the angel Gabriel. Yeah. He didn't see Gabriel, but he heard a voice yeah. telling that he's the final prophet. Yeah. And he went to his wife. She was double his age, a lot of money. Yeah. And she told him, confirm to him you're the final prophet too. She told him. She confirmed it because she heard. Because she heard it, okay. Yeah. Did Muhammad marry a nine-year-old girl? Yeah. And had sex with her? He did. Do you have a daughter? He did, yeah. How old is your daughter? Three years. If a male, a grown man marries your daughter at nine years old and has sex with her, you would probably kill him. Yeah. Why would Why? you follow a guy 800 years after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Say, I went to the cave and I heard from the angel Gabriel and now I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna marry a nine-year-old girl and have sex with her. You pray to Allah how many times a day? Five. Okay. Do you hear his voice? No. So I believe that in Islam, there's a spirit of religion, kind of like the Catholic Church. It's like people are following a God that they don't have a personal relationship with. They're following a God that their family told them to follow for generations. And I always ask a Muslim this, are you saved? Are you going to heaven? 
me if me be good person, I go to heaven. So think about this. You don't even know if you're going to go to heaven. Of course not. No. I do. No. Because all of our works are filthy rags, bro. The Muslims think, I can go do all this bad stuff, and if I do this good stuff, it'll cancel out. Hopefully, Allah will... No, that's not a relationship. That's like me and my wife. You have a wife? Yeah. Imagine if I went to my wife and said, I'm going to cheat on you, I'm going to go to the club, study, and then I'm just going to go buy you a watch. I'm going to do good things, but then I'm going to go do bad things. That's not, that's not love. In Christianity, we realize that we're sinful. We realize that we're indebted. We realize we need a savior. We realize that I can't be perfect. The Bible even says, if you think you're without sin, you're deceived. But there's a difference between someone who practices sin. I have what's called the, the Ruach HaKudosh, the Holy Spirit. Bro, I was addicted to alcohol. I was addicted to drug dealing. I had all these girls. I had a lot of money. I had businesses. I was I was making a lot of $100,000 a month and I was empty. I was in voodoo. I was in Santeria. I was deep into witchcraft. Deep. Haiti, New Orleans. I went to the mosque. I went to all that. Buddhism, Hinduism. I've spoken to imams. Even now. So, bro, I had a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. I had a disease that I had for nine years that he, he healed me of a disease. He filled me with the Holy Spirit. From night to day, I gave up everything with no issues because I got filled with the power. I see demons come out of people all the time. I see really? people. It's real, bro. Real power. When Jesus want to take off demon for one person, what he said? Name of who? He didn't say the name of anybody because he is Jesus in the, in the Bible. He said Jesus say name of God. No, he did Jesus. not. I can pull it out right Bible. now. So I got the first one. Matthew 8, 28. Doesn't say it. Matthew 5. Doesn't say it. Luke. Doesn't say it. So I got three verses that don't say it. Sure, sure. They okay. say, I'm sure. I don't see anywhere where it says that he said in the name of God. If he can show me, I'll believe it. I got another one, Matthew 17, 14. Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy. No, no saying in the name of God. Mark 1, 123, he said, come out of him. No, no in the name of God. Mark 9, 17, he said, you deaf and mute spirit. I command you, come out of him and never enter, enter again. He never said in the name of God. I have every verse in the Bible right here. There's none, bro. I promise you. I believe the Lord has a calling on your life to be a Christian pastor, to bring many people that are in deception to come to the truth. I'm serious. I got filled with power. It was not religion. It's, it's a relationship with God. He showed me so much. So in Christianity, when we do wrong, we confess our sins and we repent, which means change, and we're forgiven yeah, by his blood. But but, 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 the, but, the, but there's but there's no blood sacrifice in Islam. You never judge. You don't have judgment. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. God is a God of judgment and wrath. Our God, Yahweh, Jehovah, the real God, he's a God of judgment and wrath. Yeah. Like right now. Let's say I go and I kill somebody. I go to prison. God forgive me. He'll say, because of my blood, because of what I did for your life, I will forgive you by my blood, but there will be earthly consequences. I might have to do a lifetime prison imprisonment. And it's only by his grace. If he wants me to get out for his purpose, okay, but I'm forgiven in the spirit realm. But in the physical realm. It's the same thing with Islam. You know how many of my friends who came to Islam because of, they were in prison for murders and all that stuff? So what, they're going to hell? So, so, you, so you gotta be a perfect person to go to heaven? So what's the yeah, line? What's the... Have you ever lied? Yeah. In the eyes of Allah, is lying and murder different according to the Quran? Yeah. It's different. I thought, yeah. I thought all sin is sin. The Quran doesn't say that though. Where does it say that in the Quran? So, in so God's the, eyes, so the, it's so he, the all sin is... It's, it's like me, I go to kill one person. This is your opinion. I know the Quran. And the yeah, Quran, it does not say that there's different levels of sin. So what about Muhammad that had sex with a nine-year-old girl? You know the age? Yes, bro. Everybody, even Muslims know this. Can I be real though? You're not a Muslim. You're somebody looking for God. And God loves you so much. And when I say so much, I mean a lot, bro. And he wants a relationship with you. So you're a Christian. And, and, you be, and you believe Jesus is God. Oh, Jesus is God. He's the fullness of God bodily. He's the physical revelation of God. He's God. It's strange what Jesus say. God is my father. He said, me and the father are one. Wait, I can show you multiple... In the book of John, he said, me and the Father are one. Did Jesus say that? Yes, in the book of John. Yeah. And did you know there was scientific scientific carbon-14 dating that proves the textual authenticity of the Bible? They found texts, Greek what for the New Testament, Hebrew, and they also found Aramaic fragments as well. They find Aramaic? Yeah. You don't know this? How about this? I'll say a prayer for you. And me pray for you. You can if you want to. You can pray for me. However you want to pray for me. I'm going to say a quick prayer. Okay. I believe in Jesus, but I'm not even going to say Jesus. I'm going to say highest power, the highest God, the most high, right? Yeah. Can we both agree that we believe there's a highest God? Yeah. So how about this? Let's let's do this. Let's throw that to the side for a second. And let's just say the highest power. We're going to pray together that the highest power reveal himself to us. How about that? Yeah. So highest power. Highest power. We both pray. We both pray. That you reveal. If you. Yourself. Yourself. To us. To us. <laughs> I want the truth. Thank you, bro. God bless you and I love you, man. Thank you, brother. Bless uh, you with you. Uh, Omar. Yeah. Bless you. God bless you. you. All right, man. Take care. Thank you. Have a good one.
Have a good one. Hey, hallelujah. As you guys can see, he didn't really know the Quran too well, which is okay. He definitely was confounded a few times, which is good. I want you guys to pray for Omar in the comments. Pray for him. This brother's coming to Christ soon. It's going to cause him to go search now. To go search, seeking you shall find. And the highest power is Jesus. I can't wait for him to get saved, man. So God is good. Comment down below if you prayed for him. For real. If you are ex-Muslim, put your testimony too because you don't know who's reading the comments. God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you like this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click the description down below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner. We appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations, partnering with us in prayer and financially. We thank you so much. And also those who partner with us, liking the video, commenting down below, clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family. We thank you. The gospel is being spread throughout the nations. People are getting saved, delivered and healed. The Lord Jesus Christ is being glorified. Thank you for all our partners in Jesus name.